Hello and welcome to another week. So what's been happening this week? Uh, we had a brief visitor today. Um, St Stephen, Big Banana, he arrived, dropped off a beer delivery, which was nice. Uh, got one from himself. I believe it's from himself. I think this one's been about. Um, I don't know when that was bottled. Magnum and Columbus. Ooh, WLP 644. Mosaic IPA. Ah, oh, that should be a good beer. 7.1%. Yeah, let's go easy on that one. Also, damn, I've left something behind. Hold on. Right, I'm back. He also gave me some harvested yeast. Now this is going to be interesting. I was chatting to S Stephen to uh, saying dark beer, fruity beer is supposed to be because you know I did have a no that's a crake. That's a yeah, yeah that beer, that yeast. He says it ferments between 20 to 40 degrees. Interesting. So looking forward to trying that. And then I got something else, some more beer. So the beer I got has come from Tony, Yorkshire Homebrew, I think, yeah. So thank you very much, Tony. He's given me Mosaic IPA bottled on the 28th of the 7th. Now Stephen's hung on to these for a while, couldn't get over, but graciously dropped them off today. We have a chocolate milk stout, bought the same day. It's supposed to be from Tap, 5.7. This one's September. 1851 IPA, bottled on the 2nd of the 9th, 5.1. And a West Coast Pale Ale, 4%, bottled from Keg. So thank you very much, Tony. He's also given me some. Very nice beer mats. Look forward to that. keeping them. Not use those. Keep them somewhere safe. And one of these. Yorkshire Air. Hmm. Should we have a sniff? Smells like old tea, Yorkshire tea. Mm. Bit of a style fart. And the dials, the Yorkshire dials. Mmm, interesting. Anyway, enough of that. Anyway, uh, back to what I'm going to be doing is tasting a beer. This one is from Big B himself, Stone IPA, 6.6, .6, with two yeasts. Y yeast, one. Two seven two and three four six three. Bottled in September. Needs time apparently. No centennial. So we'll crack this open. Uh, we have a new beer opener. We'll see how long this lasts. Nice hiss. Bit of smoke. Ooh. She's lively. Oh, she's carved. She's definitely carved. Ooh. This has only been in the fridge a few hours. Now I've had this a while, but I forgot to put, put it in. But it should be cool enough. Oh, a few yeasties. A bit of sediment. Disturbed. stop it there. Okay. Very lively. A bit of a bad pour. Bit of a chill haze. So looks like there's lots of hops. Get a sniff. Ooh. Get fruitiness through the head. 
Hmm. Looking forward to this one. But we've been sat too long. September, yeah. Four months. We should have been drunk probably two months ago. But there you go. Hmm. So a lot of the hot profile is gone. Bit of malt definitely coming through. Bit of freaking is still there. I think I need to let that sit and degas a bit because it is going a hundred miles an hour up the glass. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Let that sit a minute. Right. <clears throat> Brewing tomorrow. Just thinking of doing a pilsner. Doing massage pilsner smash basically. Um, four kilos of pilsner malt. And size, 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 size for bittering, size for flame out. Is it flame out? I think it is fl flame out and size for dry hop. Um, can't remember now, it's been a while since I've done one. I think they're doing that. The Mixed Berry Imperial Stout, it's doing okay. Still a bit of pressure in the. Uh, no, not as much. Um, I think that should be okay. That's had a week with the fruit on it, so that should be well and truly fermented out. I'll take a sample to Might be brute bottling it tomorrow. If not, I'll probably bottle it Monday. So I'll take a sample tomorrow, see if it's finished out. It did create a hell of a mess. Get a look at it tomorrow. So, <clears throat> yeah, Pilsner. I think I'll do that. I haven't done it in a while. So, not keep these too long. Brewing as well. Uh, so, thanks very much, Tony and Stephen, for bringing them over. Um, and I'll see you in the morning. Lovely start to the morning, white stuff. Yeah, it's still snowing, but anyway, back to brewing. Five kilos of pulse malt, that's it. Nice, easy brew. Uh, should be fairly short as today, needs to be, it's cold. So, I'm gonna mash in now, uh, on the let as usual. So, I'll see you when that's done. Been recirking the mash for mm, 20 minutes or so. Sat on the green bed. I'm now going through the coil to go into the mash tun. So we're collecting our first run-ins. So once we get that done, we are going to put half my remaining liquor in the mash tun. Give it a good stir, let it re-soak for about 20 minutes and then we're going to start doing the fly. And then it's all the sugars that's left out of the grain. So, that's where we're at. We mashed for a bit too long, about an hour and 20 I suppose. Uh, okay, as you can see we're doing our second run-ins. I haven't started the flow yet, I just want to get the level down a little bit and then I start running it so nice and clear as you can see coming out of there so once we get this run through we're on to the boil now we have roll and boil started uh, I think I may have too much but we have a 75 minute boil today so I've my hops weighed out, which is 
here, sad. 60 grams for bittering. 50 grams at 10 minutes. I'll see 15 minutes for a tablet. And chiller. So, let's try and get these leaf hops in here. Should be interesting. And I'll set a piece. Nah, this is not going to work. I'm sure you see now hops go in. I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, 15 minutes to go. So it's time for the world flop. Turn in there. No time for the chiller. Oh. Right, chiller's in. 10 minute addition in 5 minutes. Time for more snow and the 50 minute addition so we're 10 minutes left of the ball. Here, this is going to be fun. Try not drop it in. You missed that but I actually got it in without spilling anything. Right. Let's try and get that drop down in. Right. 10 minutes to go. Just looking at my recipe there and I forgot a hop addition. So normally it's asking for 50 grams but I used what was left in the packet. So we're using 86 grams. And this, uh, well, it's kind of full. And that's going to go in it. Uh, let's get down in. They're in. Get that. Push down. And we'll start whirlpooling and let that chill down to about 15 degrees. Okay, so the yeast we're using is Saflaga S23. Good results. I know you're supposed to use two packs, but I always use one. Just sprinkle it on kicking off within 12 hours usually ferment about 13 14 degrees so we get this pitched fridge is almost down to temp and we'll crack on oh bloody hell I'm cold right that's the end of the brew day uh, just dry pitch the Safal 23 onto the, the ward got 27 litres at 10 1.053 so we've got a good conversion rate um, okay I'll change the uh, 53 that can't be right it's only got 92% conversion rate at 27 litres maybe it did maybe it didn't 5 kilos of grain coming out 5% not bad nice nice strength um, my temperatures are a bit high so I have a funny feeling it's going to finish out quite high so I have a funny feeling it's going to finish out um, I'll say you're probably to finish out at 10 16. Which only be a 69 conversion rate with the yeast. Don't know if that's true or not. Still just under 4.8%, but that'll do. Um, ferment out, as I said, at 14 degrees. Uh, after about 3 4 days, I'm going to start. Well, after about a week, I'll start ramping the temperature up. So it'll finish out. So I'll end up at 18, 20 degrees at the time of bottling. I'll probably wall cold crash this one just to see if I can get it super clear because it didn't look very pale. I have a funny feeling that minch malt isn't as dark as Frank found out, or as light as Frank found out. Um, so it looked quite dark. Um, considering it's only supposed to be an EBC of th three, 
Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm frozen to the bone, can't feel my feet. And hopefully that snow's gone by the morning. Right, see you next week. Stop wobbling. Wibble wobble, wobble wibble.